Okay, so this is, uh, it doesn't seem like an algebra topic at first, but really the order of operations is essential in algebra. So we're going to go over a couple of these. Um, this is from the CK12 book on algebra. Um, so the first one, if you look at this, um, you want to focus in on parentheses first, which means that these two sets of the parentheses here tell me, okay, solve for the expressions inside there. But if you notice, that there's another set of parentheses inside those parentheses right here. So the way that works is when you have parentheses that are inside others, well, start with the innermost set of parentheses first. And in fact, when you're doing these equations, I do suggest rewriting them each time. So now it's 8 minus parentheses, 19 minus, well, this is 2 plus 5, and that's 7 minus 7. So what I've done is dealt with just that one set of parentheses and told me, and told me, and, and wrote down that it equals 7. Now I have to deal with these parentheses, and we're subtracting here. So we just work from left to right. So 19 minus 7 is what? Well, that's 12. Minus another 7 is 5. So really this problem is 8 minus 5. So it's 8 minus 5, which is just 3. And my answer for the first one is 3. For the second one, we have no parentheses here. But multiplication takes precedence over addition or subtraction. So this pair will come first. And then, right, we can deal with this pair of numbers, division. So before we add or subtract, we want to deal with division and multiplication. So this really becomes 2 plus 77, that's 7 times 11, minus 4. Right, so we divide before we do anything else. So now, these two pair up to 79 minus 4, which equals 75. In this last example here, we're given two sets of parentheses, so now that means that we, we take care of this one, we add before we divide, and we subtract before we divide. So the parentheses always take precedence. So this becomes what? Well, 3 and 7 is 10 divided by, well, 7 minus 5, 12 is negative 5, and 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. And if you doubt that, just remember that negative 5 times negative 2 equals a positive 10. Alright, we'll keep going in the next video.